Hello, so for today's lesson, what we're going to be looking at is settlement sites and their function. However, what I want you to make sure you've done first is that you've gone back over the work from last lesson and that you have worked through that. So remember, we were looking at settlement sites and the reasons why settlers chose to live on their sites. There was a nice little video that you could watch and um, to help you. And the key areas that we needed to learn about were the building materials, shelter, protection, water, wood, rivers, flatland. They're all the reasons why people might choose an area to build their settlement when they first lived there or first looked to live there hundreds, thousands of years ago. They were all the things that they were looking for. A bit like when you go and build a campsite, you might look for the best place to site your tent, thinking about where you might get water, where you might want to sleep on a hill or flat. All those things are similar things to where people first started to build settlements. Then you had to go on and do this task, um, and labeling, actually annotating the each locations. Best Answers had a couple of good ones and a couple of bad ones in there, and they were annotations, not just a label, not just one word. Um, even better was when people colour coded them red or green. Um, explain which site you would choose from the previous four photos to build your settlement. Here, the really good answers were the ones that um, gave a couple of really good reasons. So for example, um, I would choose this site because there is access to water for drinking but also there is less chance of flooding. That's one good reason, and so there you've given, uh, the water is the point, and you're, then you're giving two examples in there for why that is a good point. However, you might then want to go and say, well, I didn't choose this site, this site has really good water, but look, it's potential to flooding as well. In the fields there, there are lots of water, it's obviously a floodplain, the, fl the land is flat, but you're going to have problems eventually um, with flooding. And so you needed to get good four marks on this. You wanted two or three points with examples explaining why you chose um, the site. Why would settlers have um, chosen uh, to build here? Well, really interesting. If, if we zoom in a little bit, Shrewsbury on this map, the key thing here is the river. Now, and as you can see, the river loops around, and the center of Shrewsbury is in this little area here. So the river here provides that protection. It also has this, what we call a bridging point here. So you'd be able to get across there reasonably easily, okay? Um, so you've got the water, you've got a bridging point, and this area around that time would have had, had lots of natural deciduous forest um, for building materials. And you really zoomed in on the map, you will be able to see, oops, that you'd be able to see that actually the Cedric Shoes is also on a hill. There are some extra contour lines in there. I mean, it's got a little bit of raised ground for protection um, as well. So, and then the last thing that you had to do was you had to go and do this settlement settlement quiz, um, which most of you seem to have done. Now, today, just going to extend that a little bit further, and we'll be thinking what a settlement's function is. Now, when a settlement develops, it has a purpose. It, there's a reason why that settlement um, exists, and it's there. So the key learning point is the function of a settlement is a reason why a town or village or city was first built. So thinking about functions, Luton's function originally largely was for the hat making or the car manufacturing industry to house its workers. Harpenden as a town, its function really now is a commuter village. Originally it was a little bit of a, a market town, but Harpenden's function now is a site for people to live in the countryside but travel easily um, into London. Uh, Liverpool is a port town, so its function was a port. Now on this page here, I want you to go through 
and click each of these types of purposes. These are each of the functions for different types of settlements. And I want you to write in this box here and explain what each one is about. And then I want you to provide your own example. So what is a market town, a mining town, an industrial or manufacturing town, ports, commercial, cultural or religious, residential or a tourist resort? Fill out the boxes and provide your own example. Next slide, have a think about where you live. What, what is it about the place that you live? What is its function? Probably one of these reasons here. It may have something else that you could think of, another reason. And I want you to write in what is the function of your settlement here, and I'd like to provide a map of your settlement um, just over here. You can use Digimaps if you've used that before, or you can just uh, copy something from Google. Then the last one, I've got three clips three different towns, cities, I want you to watch the clip and I want you to see what is the function or functions. A settlement can have more than one function, can have multiple functions. Try and determine what its main function is, but if there are any other functions as well, um, you can add them in there. Okay, enjoy.